This video will cover questions regarding the topic of basic trigonometry integrals and shortcuts part 2. We learned the shortcut for the first three basic trigonometry integrals in part 1. Now, let's learn about the shortcut for the other three. Question 1. Use u substitution. Let u equal 4x. Drive on each side. du equals 4dx. Divide by 4 on each side, du over 4 equals dx. Back to the original, integral of cosecant square of 4x is u, then dx is 1 over 4 du equals 1 over 4. Use the basic integration formula, minus cotangent u plus c equals minus 1 over 4 cotangent u was 4x plus c. Let's compare it with the basic formula. The first one is minus cotangent x plus c. The second one is minus 1 over 4 cotangent 4x plus c, 4 makes minus 1 over 4. Now we have a shortcut, minus 1 over k, cotangent kx plus c. Let's try to integrate a few more questions. Use the formula. The first one, minus, in here, k is 7 which is 7 over 1, then upside down number is 1 over 7, then cotangent 7x plus c. The last one, in here, k equals minus 1 over 3, then minus 1 over k is upside down number 3 over 1, which is minus 3, then cotangent minus x over 3 plus c, then final answer is 3, cotangent minus x over 3 plus c. Now, let's evaluate the definite integral. First, let's use a substitution method. Evaluating the definite integral using substitution show that when a variable changes, the limit of integration for x is also changed to the integration limits for u. Let's check. Use a substitution method first. Let u equal x over 2. Then derive on each side. du equals 1 over 2 dx. Then times 2 on each side. 2 du equals dx. When x equals 2 pi over 3, then u of 2 pi over 3 equals, use this, 1 over 2 times 2 pi over 3 equals, 2 is cancelled, pi over 3. The new upper limit is pi over 3. So integral of pi over 3. When x equals pi over 3, then u of pi over 3 equals, use this, 1 over 2 times x, which is pi over 3, then pi over 6. The new lower limit is pi over 6. Then cosecant squared, x over 2 is u. Then dx means 2du equals 2 times Use the basic trig integral formula. The entire derivative of cosecant squared u is minus cotangent u from pi over 6 to pi over 3 equals minus 2. Use the upper limit cotangent pi over 3 minus cotangent pi over 6. When the respect angle is pi over 3, the ratio of the triangle is 
one, two, and square root of three. Then tangent pi over three. Use the katoa root to three over one, which is root to three. Then cotangent pi over three equals upside down one over square root of three. Then minus two times one over square root of three minus when the respect angle is pi over six, the ratio of the triangle is one two square root of three. Then tangent pi over six is one over square root of three. So cotangent pi over 6 equals upside down number square root of 3 over 1, which is square root of 3. So this part is square root of 3 equals minus 2 times 1 over square root of 3 minus square root of 3 over square root of 3, which is 3 over square root of 3. Then minus 2 times minus 2 over square root of 3. Then the final answer is 4 over square root of 3. Now, shall we do it a little faster? Use the shortcut formula. The integral of cosecant squared kx dx equals minus 1 over k cotangent kx plus c. In here, k is 1 over 2, then 1 over k is upside down number 2 over 1, which is 2. We didn't change the variable, so we don't need to change the limit. So, minus 2 cotangent x over 2, pi over 3, to 2 pi over 3 equals minus 2 times use the upper limit cotangent 1 over 2 times 2 pi over 3 which is pi over 3 minus cotangent the lower limit 1 over 2 times pi over 3 which is pi over 6 now this process is the same as here. That means the answer is also the same. So the final answer is 4 over square root of 3. Question 3. Use u substitution. Let u equal 6x. Drive on each side. du equals 6dx. Then divide by 6 on each side du over 6 equals dx equals integral of secant 6x is u then tangent u dx means 1 over 6 du equals 1 over 6 integrate use the formula secant u plus c equals 1 over 6 secant u was 6x plus c. Let's compare it with the basic formula. Integral of secant x tangent x equals secant x plus c. The second one equals the 6 makes 1 over 6 then secant 6x plus c. Now we have a shortcut. k max 1 over k, then secant kx plus c. Let's try to integrate a few more problems. In here, k is square root of 3, then k makes 1 over k, so 1 over square root of 3, then secant square root of 3x plus c. In here, k equals 1 over 5. Then 1 over k is the reciprocal of 1 over 5. Flip the number, which is 5 over 1. 
So 5 secant x over 5 plus c. This is the last one. Now let's evaluate the definite integral. Use the formula a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared integral of pi over 12 0 a squared means a part squared so secant squared 3x plus 2ab 2 times a part times b part plus b squared b part squared then dx use the trig identity tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1 that means tangent squared 3x equals secant squared 3x minus 1 so this part is secant squared 3x minus 1 then simplify integral of from 0 to pi over 12 this one and this one together make 2 secant squared 3x plus this one 2 secant 3x tangent 3x then minus 1 dx this time, without substitution, let's just integrate using the shortcut. The integral of secant squared kx dx equals 1 over k tangent kx plus c then 2 times in here k equals 3 so 1 over 3 tangent 3x another shortcut integral of secant kx tangent kx dx equals 1 over k secant kx plus c then plus 2 in here k is 3 so 1 over 3 secant 3x the integral of minus 1 is minus x from 0 to pi over 12 first use the upper limit 2 third tangent 3 times pi over 12 which is pi over 4 plus 2 third secant pi over 4 minus pi over 12 minus use the lower limit 2 third tangent 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 third secant 0 minus 0 equals 2 third times when the respect angle is pi over 4 the ratio of the triangle is 1 1 and square root of 2 then tangent pi over 4 is 1 over 1 which is 1 plus 2 third in here cosine pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2 that means the secant pi over 4 means square root of 2 minus pi over 12 minus tangent 0 is 0 then 2 third times cosine 0 is 1 that means the secant 0 is also 1 minus 0 we can rewrite as 2 over 3 plus 2 square root of 2 over 3 minus pi over 12 
minus 2 over 3. The cancel. Then the final answer is 2 square root of 2 over 3 minus pi over 12. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.